This is a live look at the UT Tower. Tonight's lighting is in honor of Teresa Lozano Long, who's in our nation's capital this evening, where the president just presented her with the National Humanities Medal. The White House says this medal is for helping children and young adults learn the skills they need to succeed. Teresa Lozano Long and her husband Joe are key reasons Austin is the arts and cultural hub that it is today. KXAN's Phil Prazen takes a look at the couple's legacy and today's medal. The opera, the symphony, a ballet, staples of major American cities. And they call the Long Center for the Performing Arts home in Austin because of Joe and Teresa Lozano Long. It's fair to say Austin would not be the same without the Longs. President and CEO of the Long Center, Corey Baker, says around one-fourth of the money to build the center came from the couple, more than $20 million. And Long, she visits often to ensure their namesake is a positive, encouraging environment for the arts. We always love that people write the checks. That's incredibly important. But the Longs really show up. They come out for our performances. Long's reach goes beyond the shores of Lady Bird Lake. Growing up on a small town dairy farm, she became the first Hispanic woman to receive a doctorate in health and physical education in Texas. Along the way, she and her husband amassed a fortune. They gave $25 million to the School of Medicine at the UT Health Science Center in San Antonio. $10 million for Hispanic scholarships across the state, and another $10 million for the Institute of Latin American Studies at UT Austin. This all at a time when Baker says the arts and humanities would not be the same without them. Absolutely not. Uh, you know, the models have changed. You hear about the arts getting away from schools and funding going down across the board. So it really, uh, it's really on the shoulders of people like the Longs. Thursday night, along with the UT Tower, the columns of the Center for Performing Arts will be lit in orange in honor of the Longs. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Other medal honorees today at the White House include bluegrass singer Alison Krauss, Academy Award-winning actor John Voight, and best-selling author James Patterson.